New to MindView 9 is a Kanban and year wheel visualization. In addition, we've modernized the timeline view. In this video tutorial, we're going to examine what is a Kanban, what is it useful for, and we'll give a working example of planning out a simple project in a Kanban and visualizing the project schedule both in the year wheel and the timeline. We'll also look at how we can integrate with the task management system to help us track any ongoing tasks and update that back to our project plans. Now, depending on how you like to work, you might want to jump into a mind map view to start brainstorming out the project first and then convert that mind map into your Kanban board. Alternatively, you can just go straight into the Kanban and start creating tasks within each swim lane. In this example, I'm just going to show how to first brainstorm in a mind map, then go to the Kanban, but I'll also show you how you can start in a Kanban as well. So I'm just creating a very simple outline of a project. Each branch is going to represent a task or an activity. So as you can see, we've just created a few elements of what I need to do when building a website. To convert this into our Kanban board, we just change the view from the mind map view over to Kanban. A Kanban board is a series of swim lanes with each swim lane representing a different property. MindView has three different types of Kanban properties. In this view here, we're looking at progress. We're looking at not started, in progress and completed. Alternatively, under the design tab, we can look at priority statuses, so that's low, normal, and high priority, as well as looking at swim lanes of resources. And there's no limit to the number of swim lanes you create within that resource view. As you move a card from one swim lane to another, automatically the property will update. So in this case of progress, as I move design from not started to in progress, it automatically updates the progression of this particular task. If I move it all the way to completed, it shows the task as completed. If you'd like to move multiple cards at the same time, simply drag and drop over the cards and move them into the relevant swim lane. Kanban's act as a great visualization as to the status of a project. But let's have a look at what this looks like as a priority status. So as you can see in this example, we have low, normal, and high priority. And again, it's a simple drag and drop to move things into the relevant swim lane. As we do this, the label of priority on each of the cards is also updating. There's lots of predefined styles of Kanban boards in MindView. Simply hover over the styles and select the style that you prefer. Alternatively, you can customize each individual card. Let's take a look at how we would populate a Kanban board without going from the mind map into the Kanban. There's a couple ways that we can do this. The first is just to simply select on add a topic or the plus icon within the column of the swim lane. When adding a topic directly onto the Kanban board, we get a few more options to flesh out this task. We have the ability to add the title and the description, but also we can start scheduling this item by adding a start date, end date, even a start time and an end time. So I've just added a simple title, a short description to the task, and let's set a start and end date. This card has now been added into my list of not started tasks. You can see the date, you can see the start time, end time, priority status, and the short description. Let's add a couple more.
So far, we've created a mind map, a converted that into the Kanban, as well as start with a blank Kanban board and add and edit topics directly onto the swim lane. Let's imagine now we want to assign these tasks out to the members of the team. We're going to do this using the resource layout. In MindView, when I'm managing my resources, automatically each of those resources get added as a dedicated swim lane within this Kanban layout. It makes it so easy just to share these tasks with your team by dragging and dropping the relevant task over to the relevant team member. Let's start to visualize the schedule of this project. First, we're going to change the view of the Kanban over to the timeline. This is the modernized look and feel of the timeline view in MindView. We've already got three of our tasks that have been assigned both a start and an end date. These have automatically been populated onto the timeline. By opening Outline on the left-hand side, we can see a list of all of the different tasks from our Kanban board. To get one of these tasks onto the timeline, all we have to do is select a start and end date. We can also just add new items onto the timeline, and that will also populate that task onto the Kanban board automatically. Just double click on the date where you want to add a task. And similar to the Kanban view, we can now add the title, description, and automatically it's added a start date. When reviewing items within the timeline view, we've created a few options that make it easy to present out to your team. As you can see here as a default, the spacing between each of the tasks in relation to date. But here we have presentation mode. This will remove the scaling between each of the tasks and just create a nice visualization of each of the items within the schedule. This is a simple and really visual way of presenting on your schedule. Fast forwarding here, I've now added a few more tasks into the project and scheduled them onto the timeline. If I want to update the timings of any of these items, you can just drag and drop and move the item to the right date and it automatically updates the start date of that particular task. When you have two tasks on the same date, you'll see these two tasks layered on one another. Either select the task that you want to see a visualization of and it moves that card to the front of the stack. You can expand those items and see them framed within one particular section of the timeline. Instead of visualizing the data from my Kanban board in a schedule on my timeline, Let's take a look at this within the year wheel. Again, this is a brand new view to MindView and a compelling way of visualizing activities over a 12 month schedule. The year wheel is a dynamic view, meaning if you want to just focus on one quarter of the year wheel at a time, you can zoom in and out and focus on each of those sections. Simply select the quarter you want to review and will equally space out those items from within the schedule across that particular quarter. You can then navigate across quarters by selecting left and right, as well as returning back to the entire year. The year wheel is a great way of taking a big picture look at all the activities you've got coming up over a 12 month or quarter period. So finally, let's imagine that from this visual plan, I now want to track specific items from my plan within the MindView task management system. To do this, first, select the tasks that you want to share out to the task management system. In this example, I'm going to share tasks both to myself and to others in my team. Then open task and select include in task system. Navigating over to the task system and into projects, we can find my project here building a website, and this has been created by the name of the document in MindView. Here we can see all of the tasks that have been assigned out to the task management system, their owners, 
completion, and priority status. Any edits here within the task management system will synchronize back to the document and help you update on the status of these particular tasks. In this example, let's set the completion to 100%. To ensure all of the tasks in my Kanban board are updated from my task management system, just hit Synchronize Tasks. Notice how the design card has now moved from not started into completed. So whether you just want to make a very simple Kanban visualizing the swim lanes of your activities, or you want to flesh out a more structured project plan and track those tasks in the task management system, the new views of the Kanban, timeline, and year wheel should provide lots of opportunity to help visualize your work.